today just walk you through the steps of hand milking your cow. She's in here, she's got her feed, she's tethered. Um, I brush her bag. I've already done this, I'm gonna just show you how to do it. Uh, loose dirt, hair, just trying to get all that off of there. She's pretty clean. Then I use warm water. I bring a thermos of warm water with me. Um, it helps her relax. She lets down her milk real easy for me. And in the wintertime, it warms my hands, which are very, which is very important. I wipe around and wipe to the end of each teat. And she's already letting that milk down <laughs> and filling up her teats for me. She's a good girl. Um, if it's windy or cold, I go ahead and take the other end of my towel and just wipe any excess water off of there. There we go. Now before I milk, I just have this uh, strainer just to uh, run the first two streams of her milk from each tit through here, looking for any clumps or anything that looks an unusual color. That just lets me see if I need to go on and do a mastitis test on her. She doesn't have any signs or symptoms of mastitis, and we've never had a dairy cow that uh, had mastitis. Mastitis is uh, inflammation in the mammary glands that comes from an injury, a cut that lets bacteria get in, or if you haven't milked her properly and she gets engorged, that can lead to mastitis. Now then, that's done. I milk into this little two quart stainless steel bucket. It is the handiest thing because sometimes they kick or even accidentally moving around to get her alfalfa, she can uh, hit the bucket. You're gonna grab it, grab the bag. May I borrow your teeth? You're gonna grab her teeth right where it connects to her bag. You're gonna just kind of put a little pressure there and gently squeeze. You don't have to do a lot of tugging motion. Now, I put my head on her and rub her. Um, that is something that my grandparents taught me to do when they taught me to milk when I was a little girl. And it's just something I do. <laughs> I nudge her every now and then. It's just a connection, I think. You empty each tit. You milk it until the nipple shrivels and there's no milk coming out. You move to the next one. After you've done all four, then you come back and go through again, and that's called stripping. When I get my bucket full, I strain it into my, this is a one and a half gallon jug. She gives us one and a half to two gallons at a time. So any extra the other farm animals get. And that is how Buttercup and I do once a day milking.